Okay, the challenge has been with these amino acids floating on top to use them in the food cups and whatnot. How to collect them? Because you suck them up in a syringe and they disappear or probably stick to the inside of the syringe and then you're just getting the water and not the amino acids. So I thought if we soak it up in something, so what I've come up with is piece of cloth, small piece of cloth, float it on there just long enough to kind of gather it and pick it up. And then what I do is take that piece of cloth out. Well, this is in a uh, CO2 GAMS collection bucket, obviously. Here's the LED light with the zinc plate and the nano coated copper and a nice collection of GANs down there I haven't got to yet. Anyway, so I'll take that out and I'll put it in one of these little plastics. And then I'm going to take it over here. Let me get it out right quick. Put it in these little... It's for food storage, you know. This is my little food storage sealer I got at Walmart. So I put the little piece of cloth in there that has that. I would probably put just a little bit of the CO2 GANS water in there just to add a little more liquid. I've sealed it already on um, three of the sides. It comes in a roll, right? So I have a little bit of the CO2 GANS water, just to add a little more liquid in there, and to mix that with it. It doesn't need to be a whole lot. And then, swish it just a bit, and pick it up and put it into here. It has a little heat sealing element, I guess, that it goes across there and kind of melts it. Right. Just push it down until the little lights. There we go. Turn on. It's just like a little bit of pressure on it. And you hear it going buzz, buzz, buzz across there. And then it's heat sealed across the top. And this particular one, it's really good because it has. Um, two different um, strands across here so it doesn't just burnish it once it burnishes it a couple of times and I'll usually go back and do it again just to kind of get an extra seal on there one extra time make sure it's good and sealed before I take it out and then I'll just kind of squish it around and make sure that it's got a seal right make sure nothing's coming out and I do this with I will do layers of these with the CH3 GANs and the CO2 GANs and make little packets of those with a different color of cloth for each one so we can kind of keep straight what's what and maybe use them in some of these double walled cups and or I guess you could just give the packet to people and they could either put it on their knee or their hip or their tumor or their whatever or they could put it in their, their cup as well. This particular one's more for the food subject I suppose. But I'll make other ones with the CO2 and the CH3 and copper oxide as well. So fun and easy way to do it is these little sleeves that come with that um, food storage kit. This is a better brand. It's a nice thick ML of it. Whereas this other brand, this food saver brand, is really, really thin. I don't know if that's great for the CO2 and stuff. You don't want it to be punctured. 